Jump off will be on the first, July first. Okay. They got some big parties, okay. and then from the third to the eighth, they have like all the events. And everybody who's familiar with it, y'all already know where to go and what to do. You know, Juve, uh, the Battle of the Bands. They have all that stuff, and you like the uh, the Caribbean food, mm -hmm. rice and peas, curry mm -hmm. goat, yeah. the plantain, yeah, the like all that, them oxtails. Yeah. So. You know, it's just once a year, I just Making go hard on like box. all the food. And yeah. then after that, sporadically, I might get yeah. some. Yeah. But yeah. yeah, but I look forward to this like every year. So is this the one that's been going on for Every while? year for a long, long, long time. time. Yeah. yeah, they yeah. was going to stop it at one point because the guy who was over it uh, at first was mismanaging the money. Gotcha. So somebody else took over it and they've been doing pretty good. Oh, but cool. everything this year is at all new lo locations. You know where it's going to um, be? Yeah, I do know where some of the stuff is going to be. Yeah. But if they just go to the website, HoustonCareFest.com, mm -hmm. and then they can find, like, where to, to get the tickets, where the places are going to be, 
know, yeah, so only usually go like three different, or four. Different, they switch locations. Yeah, it's, well, okay. usually for for years it's been at the same spots. Yeah. But they changed uh, Juve uh, a couple of years ago. Yeah, I remember that. And then they had yeah. a, they had yeah. a lot of people who got killed behind it. Yeah. yeah. Was it at Tom Bass Park being? It, it was at Tom Bass Park, but it? Juve is not at Tom Bass okay. Park. Okay. Juve is normally on Holmes Road. Okay. On that big old truck yard. Okay. Which was perfect because it's open. Okay. So they moved it to a place where they have like this cattle thing where they do like horse riding and it's fenced in. Yeah. So you got all these people, tons of people, fenced into this little area. Well, oh, this is a big area, but they all fenced in. Yeah. Right? Yeah. So when I would go, I was then on the, I was still at the bleachers. Okay. I'm not going to be closed in here. Anything happened, it's going to be a trample. And that's what happened. People got trampled. People got shot. People were like fighting for their lives. It took forever to get the police there. So a lot of people stopped going to Juve. They went to everything else, but they stopped going to mm -hmm. Juve. But also that year was the year that they pronounced, they announced it on the radio. Yeah. And it had a lot of publicity. Yeah. So it pretty much brought a lot of Americans yeah. to a Lots Caribbean island who never go, there. right. Yeah, don't and really they started, with they don't mingle the with it, and they don't understand that yeah. you're going to be bumping and jumping all yeah, on each dancing. other. It's going to be oil and yeah. water being yeah. everywhere yeah. and powder, yeah. and you just, it's just all in love. Yep. And they come there, you know, doing Somebody red flags, it. blue flags. Yeah. It's not it's that kind of event. Of it's not like that. Keep that shit at home. Right. Ain't nobody with that shit. And so after that, they stopped publicizing it on, you know, the big radio stations. Yeah. Because yeah. it's usually like an insider island people thing. People just know about you it. You just know based about on it being and you in go, that circle of knowing right, people. Right. Knowing people. Who, and it's usually yeah. like, you know, islanders from everywhere. Africa, yeah. everybody is there. Yeah. You yeah. know, and it's one big, you know, like a family thing. Ain't That's no a good spot that. to like, go where you can just put everything yeah. aside. Yeah, wear whatever you want. There's yeah. no judgment. And that's what I've always liked. To, whatever you want. Time. And that's you know, what I always liked about it. Just go. You can just go. There's no yeah. judgment. It's a judgment free zone. Yeah. Until yeah. that day. But yeah. yeah. And Other so they than changed that, it from the park. It's always been safe. It's always been fun. It's always been safe. It's never been them type it's of issues. It's never been anything you know, like I've been, that. I've been known to this and I didn't went once. Really? You know, Did you go to Tom Bass? I went to Tom Bass. Okay. And uh, I'm Damn, I ain't even been twice then, come to think of it, because I did go to Tom Bad. But, you know, I used to hang with, you know, be around a lot of Jamaicans. And right, stuff. Used to go right. To Jamaicans clubs and stuff like that. You know, I love Jamaican food. Right. And, you know, they always been uh, A1 brothers, anyone that I ever dealt with. They right. always been A1. So, right. You know. Yeah, you probably went to a couple of some things and didn't even realize what it was. Yeah. But, yeah. like, I've been going for over 10 years yeah, yeah I know and been now for a long time. yeah and now i only go to a couple of events yeah you know i don't do the park it's too freaking hot now mm -hmm. so i'm not gonna get out there uh i'm definitely not doing juve period i don't care where they move it to yeah. i will not be doing that one yeah and uh they have like a ultra glow party where i'm white uh, ultra I'm, glow ultra glow yeah you know i mean i don't know what? Uh, well, you know, like all the little theme ass parties. Yeah, shit. it's a lot of theme parties. You know what I'm saying? I ain't never yeah, they had a foam, foam and go, wet yeah, party. I can go do the foam shit because all I gotta do is have some swimming. <laughs> you feel me? I gotta go buy a whole. But you don't have to be fresh. Outfit. You don't have to be fresh for the white either. Yeah, That's what but I'm saying. Why get fucked up? I don't it like white get, clothes. It will get and fucked up. I love white clothes. Like I wear white every day. Yeah, it's gonna be fucked up before you get to the party. You know what I'm saying? You gonna rub up against. Well, by the time you eat some of that food, you might drop something on you. If you've been, you know, kind of yeah. inebriated or something. Exactly. Yeah. Then they yeah. got the camouflage party. Yeah. That's I, I can do that Everybody too. can do camo. Everybody yeah, got I, some camo. I got some camo right now. Right. I, I like go shit where I already got it. Exactly. And I gotta go shopping. Right. You, you ain't gotta go shopping. I, I have tons of white. Like, you I You make me white. damn near don't want to go. I lay like, off. Oh, fuck. I, I gotta, gotta go, go buy, buy some shit. shit. Yeah. Fuck. Yeah, I don't go. And then if you buy the outfit, you gotta pay to get in. Like you, there's no free event. Maybe, maybe one. Uh, the first day, which is Sunday, is going to be a Capitol Bar, yeah. and that would be like packed. Okay. If you don't get your free tickets now, then it can go up to like a hundred dollars to get mm. in there. Mm. 
So yeah, and they, they had my ticket ahead of time. Yeah, and they be giving away yeah, at least three hundred free tickets. Yeah, you play so that. So you gotta go in there and get yeah, those. Do that. And and it'd be pretty packed and pretty fun. And it's a day party, so it'd be like hot as hell out there too. So yeah. Yeah. yeah, we found some shade last year. We got us a good little spot. You yeah, need one of them yeah, little things you can set up, little canopy thing. They ain't gonna let you bring that in there. Oh, they don't? At Tom Bass, you can bring the canopy okay. thing. Yeah. You yeah. know, your tent and sit it out there on the hill. You can do that. Oh, but all the head. other places, everything is inside. It's okay. gonna be inside of a building. Okay. Yeah. You know, so oh, it's stuff answer. all over Houston that'll be going on, different clubs that. Or Caribbean or Jamaican clubs will have some kind of event. Some African clubs that have something going on. Yeah. That's kind of. They go get you some foo foo. Yeah, I get you some foo foo. Yeah. yeah. Some 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 dry fish and okra. Yeah, you can get mm -hmm. all of that. Yeah. You know, because they have the different vendors there: the African mm -hmm. vendors, Jamaican vendors, and you and they may have some uh, Trini. Mm -hmm. If you know any Trini? What's that? Trinidad. Oh, okay. That, that's Trinidadians. That's <laughs> like, well, no, they just call them Trini for short. Yeah, the Trinis. Know, yeah. yeah, so yeah. that's something y'all can do, you know, for the 4th of July. They also have the Essence Festival, too, yeah. that's going on the same weekend. Yeah, I'm going to be in Mississippi Okay. for that weekend. I'm going to be fishing Mississippi okay. Gulf Coast. Okay. And, uh, you know, I'm going to be chilling, eating some good food. Get fat like Mississippi folks do. Like Mississippi you folks know what do. I'm, okay. I'm, I'm you will have a little piece of straw in your mouth. A couple of pounds. In your you mouth. Like some country folks. You know, yeah, I'm going to have some fun. I like it going down there. You know, last time I went, stayed at the casino, man. Them motherfuckers cook like a motherfucker in that casino. For real? Some good ass food. The golden For nugget. Real? Man, them motherfuckers can cook. I need to go there. And I was like, damn, this right on the wall. Yeah. I mean, I can. You know, you get them cups too because you're a couple free nights. Yeah. You feel me? And you go for a couple of days and don't even pay for it. Okay. You know, they think they're going to get all their money out of you. Out of you gambling. gambling. You know what yeah. I'm saying? You just, you know, but the food was it's good. Everything I, I heard ate the food was good. It was good. You wow. Know? Yeah, I got to go to the yeah. Golden Nugget. So I mean, and I got to go to the Essence in New Orleans because I, I only went to it here when it was in Texas and that shit was trash. Yeah. Hella trash. Yeah, it's bomb, New Orleans Essence Festival. Yeah. Yeah, it's bomb. You know, one time there, you know, it was cool. <laughs> you know. For the Essence? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, one time, yeah. some years ago. Okay. You know, they go see what that was about. What's all the hype? What's all the hype? Yeah, it's cool. Was it worth it? Yeah, I mean, it was cool, yeah. I enjoyed it, you know. Okay. You know, I always like changing the vibe. I mean, New Orleans is cool anyway. Like, yeah. anytime you want to go there. Yeah, New Orleans is, is, is a group of fun. First place I ever went and just seen them allow motherfuckers to sleep on the bar. They was drunk. They had been in like 3 or 30 in the morning. Right. Dude, them bar like They be this. sleep outside. I mean, he in the bar. Just, and yeah. Out. They be sleep on the, on the sidewalk. Yeah, ain't nobody just walk over them and keep going. Nothing, you know, I'm yeah. like, okay, they That's, know. That's they must shit. know him. And this okay. is like a regular time of year. It wasn't really like no, you know, uh, nothing special going on. Right. Just went down there to go kick it for the weekend. Right. And I'm like, well, man, I'm going to forget this. Laid out. <laughs> you know, you ain't do that shit in the Houston, buddy. I'm like, nigga, get it up. Yeah, and if you don't get up to call police on Unless you, you, you had to go to a sleep tank. And a little do, and a little, little, little do drop in joint where they know you. Right. You know, they you. Can, they got the number or something. Yeah. They can call your wife yeah. or your yeah. somebody. Yeah. They like, hey, come get him. Yeah. Shit, you know. Right. Come get your son he up here sleep. Yeah, that Clifford yeah. Jr. over there. Old Clifford, he always come yeah, here Yeah, just put him in the back. He'll sleep yeah, it off. put him in the back. he sleep over there by the refrigerator. Right, exactly. <laughs> okay. Yeah. See, have a nigga hard to take him home or something. <laughs> Depending on what part of town you're in, you can't do that. Because right the parts know where they live. On color. Just lay them on there. Of course, color. You remember that damn, it was a Zydeco club back there on color years ago? Uh, yeah, they just got rid of you it. You remember what I'm talking about? Yeah, they okay. just got rid of it. I can't it. remember the name of it. Talking about way at the end, by way the funeral? Way down in now. By Bef the funeral before they, before they built all that stuff, like going before. towards 288, I mean going towards the Beltway. Wait, Before, wait. They caught on fire? The one that caught on fire? I don't remember if the motherfucker caught on fire now. 
But it was, it, it was couldn't have been too many Zydeco clubs down Yeah, cut. it was down color. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Like Yeah, we used to go there all the time. Yeah, past like Fuqua or whatever that shit mm -hmm. back off up and down. Yeah. And, uh, you know, it get a little country back off up and down, you know? Mm -hmm. I ain't been down there in years, but one night went to that Zydeco club, came up out of there, and I seen a dude drunk in a motherfucker laid across the hall, <laughs> boss just walking down the street. <laughs> Going home, I'm like, what kind of shit is shit this? Is this? Yeah, yeah, the horse know where he lives. The motherfucking horse was Uber before Uber. Thank you, okay. You know what I'm saying? For real. A lot of people didn't got home like that. It probably was him who invented it. Like, you know what, man? You know, this drunk motherfucker on the horse. And I'm going, you know, I'm going to, I'm going to. Instead of just doing it on my horse, everybody ain't got a horse everybody like me. Ain't got a horse. So I'm going to start exactly. a car service. Thank you. <laughs> For drunk, drunk motherfuckers. motherfuckers. Keep them okay. off the street. Thank you. Like my horse did for me. Thank you. The okay. horse was walking his ass Paying it forward. And he was just laid across the horse. Yep. Somebody threw him across there. Yeah. And he just, just jumped across the horse. Yeah. Go ahead on the horse. Okay. How funny. Yeah. So, you know. Well, anybody doing online shopping, they're taxing you now. Out of state tax. Okay, so if you purchase something online, online from, another from another state, state somewhere else, they're going to tax you. Donald Trump did that shit too? Yeah. Man, I'm going to go see this nigga. This nigga doing too much shit. Yeah, man. like if you have a free this, free shipping, free whatever, so you have the pretty much, it's not going to be free shipping anymore because now you got the out of state tax for ordering online. Get the fuck out of here. I thought yeah. you didn't like that RS. He don't. He told me he ain't like him. He told me they he gonna shut him down. He's gonna shut him down. Yeah, but this would bring in more money for people. Yeah. Because the states that are offering these non-state taxes, that state is tripping because they're not getting that money. So basically. So we can get this much money off of these orders that you got going on. You yeah. know when they see that they ain't getting the tax money from the stuff? Yeah. We need to get some money from this. So online shopping now. So what you but Amazon about? been already like charging like a sales tax. Yeah. They've so, been that. but the other companies have not. Yeah, and then the little mom the, uh, and pops, yeah. you know, don't charge those taxes. Yeah. You know, they may only charge maybe a little bit of shipping or something. Exactly. Now they have to do that, and they like complaining because they're like, okay, how are we gonna, you know, provide for our people? We gonna raise the prices? I'm gonna do something to supplement having to raise these out of state taxes. So basically, he said he was going to shut the IRS down. Right. They called him and said, motherfucker, we'll shoot you. You do we'll know that, don't you? We'll shoot you. Yes. <laughs> like when he tried, to, he tried to go against the gun the gun control. He was talking all that shit, talking about, yeah, they control y'all. They don't control me. He came back and retracted his statements. Because uh -huh. the NRA ain't playing with you. Like, yeah, man, you know, no, we got all bro. these guns, fool. Thank you. you know Stop saying? talking about gun control. We can shout a lot of motherfuckers. Shut it up. <laughs> Shut that shit down. Yeah, we playing. And he changed his thing on it. So wow. now with the sales tax, you know, the state wow. tax on online shopping. So, man. So, yeah. Yeah, you know, I've been shopping at Amazon or whatever tech. You know, I, I'm, I'm going to tell you. Yeah, man. but they be having like free free I, shipping, free whatever. I pay so. for, you know, you pay for what you want. You pay for what you, you know, want. You pay for what you have to. You, yeah, you know for what you have to. You know, it's like when I was living in L.A., I remember fucking Ooh, gas was down there five dollars, right? Gas was like four sub, right? It's regular. Regular. And uh, I was talking to one of my cousins back in Louisiana, and and they complained about gas prices. I said, "How much you paying for gas down there?" And we dollars, and we both at the gas dollars. pump. We yeah. at the gas pump, right? Yeah. At the same time, right? Yeah. And I'm like, "Well, shit, I'm finna pay four thirty five for a gallon." Oh, okay, I'm going to be quiet. <laughs> exactly. Because <laughs> like, oh, you're yeah, probably I'm paying 2 or $3. You understand what I'm saying? Yeah, exactly. So I'm like, yeah, I'm going to pay $4.35 for a gallon of gas. Thank you. I got to put $300 gallon. to fill up the tank. <laughs> Ooh, Lord. Uh-oh. Yeah, I'm going to have to start you know, going towards clean energy, and yeah. these hybrid cars. Bicycles. The bicycles. You know yeah, bus. they would send people to carpool. People like, carpooling. Man, man, this shit is crazy. I'm like... Yeah, why the fuck gas? Why everything? How you out there? Okay, hiding in the You know what I'm saying? Hiding <laughs> <I'm> eagle coochie. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? 
Yeah, well, that's pretty high. That's high than that giraffe. Yeah, damn eagle. They soared up there, soared way, down. way, way yeah. up there. Wind. How funny. So, you know. But, uh, yeah, you pay for what you need, pay for what you want, pay for what you got to. It's either the three. Pay for what you need, pay for what you want, and pay for what you got to pay for. One way or the other, you're going to pay. That's why I say, man, I get a chance to build this house I want to build. Solar panels. I'm going to have solar. I'm going to give me a wind turbine. Mm -hmm. I am going to generate my own energy. And I'm going to, I, I, you know, if I can get out that rat race and have to pay them till I die. Right. It'll be worth the twenty, thirty thousand dollars you spend making your house efficient, efficient. like that. You right. know what I'm saying? Uh and you know, I'm already growing stuff for this garden and thing, so right. I wanna get So you're already like getting the training it. too, so it's, you'll know uh, exactly I, what exactly. stuff what all your yeah, and I start looking fruit into uh, you know, to actually learn how to build your own solar panels. You say, because you can go buy the stuff and build them yourself. Right. You know, you just got to, you know, do your research. Right. Get all the necessary, you know, they, you, 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 you know, you can find any kind of information you want nowadays. Right, you, you can. Know, you can just build them yourself. Do you buy 20 or 30 of them old, put right. them in your house. And, you know, be less reliant on somebody else's energy. True. They just shit the lights out on my ass at any, any time. time. Exactly. And you never know what all the, how this world is going. You understand? That we need to lean towards, you mm -hmm. know. And all these damn purge movies and shit. I know. You know what the fuck is going on? These purge movies, I be really thinking like, okay, mm -hmm. this is too much of a message. Yeah. And we you know, overpopulated. Art imitates reality. Yeah, exactly. You know what I'm I saying? was like, ooh, okay. It's just like yeah. a, a rapper rapping about selling dope. He's imitating the reality of what he's growing. A nigga probably ain't never sold so, no dope. Right. Probably ain't hold no dope. Right. You know what I'm saying? Probably just knew some niggas who had that work. Right. But he, but he got that miracle skill. Right, so, exactly. You know, I don't rap about it. Right. You know what I'm saying? You know, like, I did. You know what I'm saying? Right. So just all right. imitating. Right. Like, man, you ain't did shit. Nigga, you went to Catholic school. Thank I seen you. you. I seen Your you. Your mama don't even let you stay outside the <laughs> okay. damn street lights was on. You know, when the street lights was going off, they was calling you, and you better be in, in hearing range so, you know, you know, you can get your ass back around that corner real quick. Thank you. So. But, yeah, they got me thinking. I'm like, woo. You know, this purge, you know. This purge. And this the third one? The third one. Donald Trump in office. Fat white girls getting bold. Fat white girls getting bold. They want to. Be tripping and talking shit and calling the laws. Calling people. the laws. You know, little children. I can understand the one in the park up there in uh, California. Because the she they was hungry the and they was barbecuing. And they wouldn't let her eat. And they wouldn't let her have they none. Her so stuff. She, she got mad. They probably would have fed her. Yeah, but she didn't, yeah, but she didn't think to dogs. ask. Exactly. You know, you know what I mean? Y'all I mean. And they were saying, too, the lady who complained about the little, the little girl selling water, it was hot and she was thirsty and she was mad that she had to pay for some freaking water. What? Yeah. Oh, so you mad. You want something free. You, you want, want something hand free. Out. Right. And since yeah. we ain't giving it to you free, you yeah. got to pay for yeah. it. So now you're going to call the police on yeah. it. Talking about the girl ain't have a permit to sell water. Yeah. And now you online crying. <laughs> you out there crying. And she mad because her face yeah. everywhere. They even yeah. joined her with everywhere. the barbecue. Yeah, with barbecue, the barbecue Becky. And, and bar yeah, and then <laughs> they, 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 they hitting you up. They threatening you. They threatening you to kill you. Oh yeah, that's yeah, true. Yeah, yeah. Now I you're scared. Now you're crying. Wow. You know what I'm saying because you 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 know because you made a rash decision. You, you know what I, I tell tell people sometimes the only thing that people get and understand is consequences. Understand what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. If you if there's no consequences, like you dealing with somebody and they cross a certain boundary with you. Right. You know what I'm saying? If you don't give them no consequences. They right. don't they feel they can continue to, to, to that. push that boundary more right. and more and more. Right. So, you know, you got to give a motherfucker some consequences. Her consequences was, okay, you gonna you gonna you gonna you gonna build you gonna build a little fat thirsty motherfucker man. Cause nobody want to give you some, some water, water that they went paid pay for. for. Right. You know what I'm saying? And right. they out there for whatever reason. They may be doing fundraising. And you never People know. People do fundraising, fundraising all the time. Exactly. They're seeing a lot of that during the summer. You right. Know what I'm exactly. They stand on corner beside it doing Jeez. car washes. Yeah. 
So why wouldn't you, you know, you know, or either they just need the money. They got the water at a good deal, got it for fifty right, cents, exactly. selling it for a dollar. Exactly. You know what I'm saying? So what make you think you just supposed to get something free for from free. somebody? Yeah. You she don't have a permit to sell that water. Yeah, like who are these motherfuckers wow. in truck? Yeah, they got, the got some. That's what I'm saying. Head. They got some balls. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And see, it then you know start getting slapped around and kicked and shit like that, and then you crying on TV on national TV. Oh, <laughs> 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 yeah. You know yeah. they ran out of dough now. So and and that, that leads that into the the uh, Fox News anchor who yeah. said that she asked some black people. What they thought about those camps that they hold those little Mexican kids in? Yeah. And they, she said that they told her that those little tent cities was better than the projects. Yeah, I seen that bullshit. Too. <laughs> I mean, you know, I've been in some projects. I'm quite sure you've been in some projects. We've seen some projects. <laughs> You know, I have you know, I have been to projects and you know, but you those ten there, you cities at city, is you know, better. The roaches flying it's around. It's better than you. those projects. Yeah, but I, I don't know. And she say that they. I mean, you know, shit. I live. Cause in, they got a, they got four hot. I they, live down they, off Zelensky, You know what I'm saying? Back in the gap before, before Foxwood Apartments and everything got real, real bad. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? It was still the hood in that end, but. I'm like, man, uh, you know, I, I But for don't her know. to say that, even between, if she did ask some, some black people and they told her that, which I don't even think that anybody would tell her that. She probably made that shit up. Like, why would they say that? I that don't in know. the little tent cities was better than the, the freaking projects. I don't know. Maybe it was, I don't know. I don't know why somebody would say it. Maybe it's clean. You know, sometimes people don't take care of projects. You know, maybe they got running the water. Maybe they ain't got no roaches. Because you ain't got to have roaches in the project. Your neighbor can have roaches. Your neighbor, yeah. Next thing you know, you know, yeah. you, know, you, know you, you got roaches all up in your Everywhere. cereal. Everywhere, yeah. You know what I'm saying? You go pour your, but, your, your, your cereal in the bowl <laughs> and start eating. Eat, yeah. And, what the fuck? You look at that shit like, like what? Man, what? fuck it. Oh, oh shit. <laughs> Fuck that shit. Somebody else has said that. That shit was funny, man. Fuck that shit. I know that's a roach, but fuck it. I wasted my milk, you know, my milk in there. You know what I'm saying? I'm eating these shit. Oh my god. And that motherfucking roach. I'm eating all that shit. I ain't heard somebody say that for real. Like, fuck that. I'm just gonna, you know, just gonna blend in with everything. It's not a raisin. It's not a raisin. I'm eating all that shit. Tear it up. Fuck you. Oh. You know, milk hard Ooh. to come by these okay. days. Shit. Shit. And only got two Ooh. days left on the motherfucker. On the milk before it go out. Yeah. Okay. And that was my last corner. Shit. Thank I ain't wasting okay. my milk. No my cereal. No that roach. Right. <laughs> 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 I'm gonna eat all that shit. All this, okay. Yeah, it is going yeah, down. Dog kiss it, dog kiss it, dog miss it. There you go. Mm-hmm. It's yeah. just shit. So. You know, I don't know. I ain't never, I ain't never been in the tent city. Yeah. But I have been in the ghetto. Ghetto, so. You know what I'm saying? And you know, yeah. I mean, it's been places I'm not like, man, I don't live over here. I don't live over there. Shit. Yeah, there can't do go. it. I know these niggas gonna try to kick my door in when I leave. Yeah. Mm -hmm. If they talking about like safety wise or something. Yeah. I mean, it could be. I mean, because they got people watching their ass mm -hmm. all day. But to me, it'd be more like a prison. It's exactly. more like a freaking project. Yeah, that's like You know, jail. some projects are like a prison. A prison, yeah. Yeah, especially the ones that was in Chicago. The ones that they shut down. Oh, my God. When we went to Chicago. We drove right by that. We just, they just pointed like, look, that's it right there. We, we ain't stopping. Yeah. Speed up, motherfucker. Hell, yeah. Them things was big, just like on a movie. Tall. Like, just tall. Yeah. All the way up. All the different floors and seen. stuff. And they shut that shit down. People start moving to Texas. Oh, yeah. And they, they coming in. in droves. Yes. I'm talking yeah. about they coming in droves. Mm -hmm. I'm sitting in at the shop one day. Yeah. Literally. It's about six motherfuckers in there from Chicago. Chicago. Yeah. Oh, man, where you used to live? Yeah, yeah man, I live right on West. Yeah. Now, I went to such a school. Yeah. I'm like, 
Chicago, they yeah, they coming. Yeah, well, y'all keep y'all little gang banging ass children. <laughs> little shooting ass, nook nook. Well, well, that, and, well most uh, of that Jimmy shit don't Jr. most of that shit don't fly here. Yeah. Just like when New Orleans came. You yeah. have to Katrina trying yeah, to, you we'll know, lock your put ass up because we yeah. don't have what the thirty day rule yeah. that they had in New Orleans. Yeah. If they don't find the body or do whatever in thirty days you can walk. Yeah. That don't happen here. Yeah. They hold your ass even if they ain't got nobody. Exactly. We'll lock even your if ass we just up, think man, about yeah. that you might be the person. And make your make money off in your Chicago, ass. In Chicago, I mean they gangster because they'll cut your body up and burn you up in front of your mama now. Yeah, them niggas done, man. I don't know what they so, put in the wall yeah, over there. They told me like don't yeah. even it's... say nothing to uh -huh. nobody. Yeah. Why are you down here? Matter of fact, yeah, I told you I went to the party this weekend. Yeah. And one of the guys who, who his wife, it was like, it was uh, for an event, her graduate, you know what I'm saying? He owed the cat real cool. You know, he used to spar with Muhammad Ali. He was a professional oh, okay. boxer. You know, one of my partners, right? And, uh, man, some of the people over there was from Chicago. Ooh. And, you know... Then they were just telling us, you know, it was it was a, the dude, he probably was about 30 something, 35, 37, and then his daddy and his mama was all over there and we were just sitting there talking about they were telling, talking about Shy Time in various ways and how rough it was it's and why they wanted to get up out of there. Mm -hmm. And I'm like, man. I'm like the story is you, right. You know, it's 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 and always. They, they can't really tell you like all the real yeah, real stories. Yeah, it's a cause for this shit. It, this shit didn't just start happening for nothing. It's mm -hmm. a reason. It's something going mm -hmm. on in the mind, or something that's being put there. Something that's mm -hmm. being done mm -hmm. to 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 influence the culture of Chicago for all of this violence. Right. Just like New Sisters Orleans violence. in the nineties. You know what I'm like saying? When as small as New Orleans is. To be the murder capital, capital yeah. of the United States for mm -hmm. like two, three years running. Maybe you longer know? than that. And I'm like, you know, and, you know, and I've had experiences there where if I couldn't run, yeah, I don't know if I'd be here. Right. Shh. And if I wouldn't, if I couldn't see, right. I was like, okay, this shit here does not look right. Right, okay. Let me show you motherfuckers what Carl Lewis do. Okay. <laughs> I'm talking about gone. For gone. Oh my God. It's like five or six of them. Yeah. And, and the little, you know, we ain't had some word. Well, they had some word. I'm trying to squash that shit. I'm like, right. y'all, y'all tripping, man. Right. Like, Bro, it's not that serious. This right. is me, right? Right. It's not that serious, man. You know, I know, I know I'm outnumbered, so it's not that serious. You know what I'm saying? Right. Let's squash this right now. Shh. I fooled around, got separated from the people that I came there with. And uh, as I was going back to the hotel that night, because it was, I went there for a music convention. Okay. It's in the 90s, right? And uh, that's my first time bumping into Dick Gregory and all these people at this music convention because it was one of the biggest music conventions in Houston okay. or in uh, in the, the country at right, that time. Right. Uh, black music conventions, right? Mm -hmm. So, man, I uh, I'm getting ready to leave to go back to the hotel we were staying at, which is the Holiday Inn, and we was on I think Canal Street. Mm -hmm. Holiday Inn was a few blocks away, you know, by the 15 minute walk. Okay. I got there in a lot less than 15 okay. minutes. Yeah, you feel me? Shit. Yeah, about that. So, like I say, we had some words all behind. You know, you know, I used to like the freestyle and all that. Right. I had to bust their head in a little freestyle Ooh, competition. Wow, okay. And they got, and, and I mentioned, they didn't know I'm technically from Louisiana. Right. But I mentioned Houston. Right. And they had a problem with that. Real old sensitive tender dick ass nigga. I'm like, man, why you got a problem with a nigga represent where he is? You know what I'm saying? I'm like, what kind of bullshit is that? Right, I'm not gonna be right. mad because you mentioned New Orleans. Right, exactly. Well, I don't give a fuck about what that don't mean shit to me. Thank you. You know, wow. my wing got no personal beef. So right. anyway, I look up and I see these motherfuckers make a circle. Right, I'm walking. They pass me up and they go around the block and they come back. Wow. Right. And then they pass me up again, and Shut they as I'm studying walking, right? Yeah. And they go up ahead in front of me, hit their lights, and turn off the car. Shut up. Wait for you to get up Wait there. for me to come down now. Wow. I seen that shit. Fuck. Pew! 
yeah. Tuck around the other way. Gone yeah. all the way to oh the motherfucking God. I'm like, nigga, I was probably born in the day, early in the yeah. day, but I, I was born yesterday, okay. motherfucker, and I know this yeah. is a trap. This is a total trap. Y'all finna wait till I get up and there. And at that time, they really was fucking people on. Yeah, exactly. They was. Exactly. Yeah. It's in the Tourists 90s. Tourists was getting all jacked they up. Was, they were finna wait till I get up there on side that mm-hmm. car, and they finna let me down. Especially if you was from Houston, they really was trying yeah, to they finna get me. you up. They finna get me. They finna get me. So, wow. you know, I'm like, they ain't do nothing to these dudes. All I did is display my talent. Right. And my gift. Right. And I happen to mention where I live at. But I was gonna send them in Chicago, like, don't be talking about like you from South Park, don't buy your fuck. Nah, okay. <laughs> but I ain't even say that. You know, it wasn't I'm even like no it. no you set know. like thing right. like we hard or nothing, you know what I'm saying? We bad motherfuckers from Texas and Houston. Nigga, we'll whoop y'all ass. They it wasn't was like, none of that shit. Was it was like, just no, you know stop what I'm saying? It. Don't yeah. say none of that. None of that. Yeah. It wasn't none of that. Yeah, you, you know, because you, you can come you can come to anywhere and create that type of energy. Right. You can have motherfucker come here from Chicago right. and be like, yeah, nigga, I'm from Chicago over right. there wall and get right. his, his red um, 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 what's that word? Dulu mm-hmm. Alagato? What's that? Ablo. Get his shit cracked. Yeah, Madula. Because you came down here thinking that Chicago meant something so, here in Houston. Exactly. Like that was gonna get you right. some, some brownie right. points, you know, people was going to be like, ooh. Yeah. So, no, it was not that type of energy. Yeah. It just, it was just it was when you're in a little freestyle moment, right. you know, you finna yourself you know, Houston, H-Town, you made them feel real, real tiny. Yeah, they and made themselves feel like that. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Well, they did. You was shit. just doing it, but you they felt that you made so, them feel like that. When I, when I looked up, them motherfuckers were circling my ass like vultures. Oh, hell you know no. And they were. Just yeah, yeah. Did it twice, and He's like, yeah, there you go. There you go. No, he ain't. you just walk there and just go on your exactly. business. Now, it's like 3.30 in the morning, mind mm. you. So, it ain't like high traffic. Exactly. But, you know, the, the main hotel on Canal Street, all the parties, parties and everything yeah, was going on. Right. Now. So, I got separated from my little crew. You know, because it was something else, you know what I'm saying? No, 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 yeah, yeah. So, <laughs> I'm up and down. You know, I'm And I'm I'm wearing them out on that mic. They ain't like that. Man, like, these dudes really to go that far yeah. behind some go bullshit. Some I ain't did nothing to your mama, your sister, your children. None you know what I'm saying? That. Nothing to you. Right. You know what I'm saying? And you willing they to... They were just hating just to hate. Yeah, you willing Period. to go that far? What's wrong with you, man? You know what I'm saying? Because the whole time I'm... It's because you was, you, you know, know, aware. Exactly. I was definitely... You know, to yeah. your surroundings, oh, to yeah. just the movements or anything. And you know, see... Ever since I've been a young ass dude, something my mama always told me she still do it to this very day. Watch everything. Yes. To this very exactly. day. Exactly. To this very yeah. day. If right. I tell her I'm finna go somewhere, yeah. the one thing she can tell me, watch, watch everything. everything. Right. That always kept me on my P's right. and Q's. Because you be watching. You know what I'm saying? I, I see a hater from a mile away. I'm like, yeah, yeah, yeah. You got a problem. Right. And it ain't me. Right. But you think I am a problem. Right. But it, but it's true to you. <laughs> but that's good though. Like, thank Shit. mama for that. Yeah, yeah. She for always sure. put me up on that type of game. Always. Watch these motherfuckers. Yeah, yeah. Watch these haters. Motherfucking haters. All right, guys. We'll be right back. Yeah. Yeah. 
Yeah, that nigga went to, looking brand new. He went to Atlanta and did, did learn how to do that shit. Oh, yeah. Right from his chick. That's I was a, chick. a dude. Oh, because it's a chick that do it. They fly her all over for her to teach classes and stuff. Yeah, and it was the a dude. dude. Oh. It was, uh, I think you told me he paid about $700. To learn how to do those installations. Yeah. 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 That's what he said. Yeah. That's what he said. Yeah. That's what he said. Yeah. Yeah. And then. Ain't nobody got to worry about not having no hair. And then, you know, we, you know, uh. I'm cool with his uncle too, his uncle in the hair game. Okay. He's like, shit, I'm going to teach everybody how to do it. He's like, shit. He's saying, do? Yeah, you want to teach everybody, you know, we want to get him to so teach So all everybody. of y'all being there doing it? Nah, that nigga ain't teach nobody. He ain't, because he want to he wanna keep for himself. Yeah. You know how much you could charge to do that on somebody? He don't he charge him. He's young, so he don't know oh, his work. Dude, everybody ain't doing that. Two, three hundred dollars Exactly, two or three hundred dollars. Easy. To turn you into a whole different person? You know what I'm saying? And don't nobody know uh, but me. Conversion. That's a total yeah. conversion. So the dude look way younger now. Yep. Yeah. Than he did at first. Exactly. He look like paw paw and shit. Exactly. That's why I don't play. Wow. Start going ball, cut that shit out. Cut that shit out. <laughs> I'm, I'm like, not going to be playing with all this. Hell yeah. Nah, I ain't no one. Fuck dogs. Fuck dogs. Chick here for painting my ass, so you know what I'm saying? Oh, huh? no. Uh, she looks like a painting herself. Yeah, she be painting her ass off. So, wow. Man. I'm like, I like that. Her work is fine. She, she, she got a whole fucking art studio. Here mm -hmm. in Houston? Nah, she ain't good. Oh, yet. okay. But she be selling the shit out of paint, man. She be, wow. She, she killing the guy. I gotta get back into my painting. Yeah. I got some canvases now. I ain't need, I I need to get me an East one. Oh, I have one. Hey, we are back. Well, guys, this is our last and final show. I want to thank y'all for tuning in with us for a whole year. A whole year. A whole year, off and on, the many people. So. We're going to yeah. miss y'all, lasses. Okay. <laughs> it's been fun. It's been fun. But, you know, look out for whatever uh, Roy B. Extreme may be doing, you know, at uh, All In One. All In One Productions. Productions. Uh, dot com or at All In One Production uh, on Instagram. You know, you can contact me. Uh, you know, uh, still working on that, that shaving gel, that beard oil. And, uh, also, you know, I got some, some stuff I'm about to pitch to the NFL. Okay. You know, so all you non-haters, we non -haters. have some sincere uh, uh, prayers you want to throw up and say, hey, look here. Right. Put that good right. energy out there. Put that good energy, with a brother, good vibes. To mingle with mine. Yes. You know, uh, you know that, that that opportunity pans out and I'm able to, you know, feed some cheer. Yeah, <laughs> for real. Exactly. You know what I'm saying? Because we all want to feed our children because I hope y'all get Everything that y'all put out there, you know, want to attract them to your life, and you know, exactly. however you want to progress in a positive way. Yes, indeed. Yeah. And then for me, it's S underscore Lane Bryant everywhere. So just put that in there, and you'll find me and find everything that I'm doing uh, in the future and right now. So mm -hmm. uh, yeah, she got them books and all that good stuff too, you know. Nice. You know. Yep, look out for a cookbook. No, I'm lying. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you know, y'all yeah, look at me from, from, you know, NFL Network. Okay. You know, in the future for us, uh, some music licensing is concerned. Yeah, exactly. You know, uh, a track called Adrenaline Rush. And, uh, you know, I think it ought to be real nice. Okay. It is real nice. Yeah, that's real nice. All right. So I'm getting ready to pitch that in a few days. That's what's up. That's what's up. Yeah. Much success to you on that one. Appreciate you, mate. For sure, for sure, for sure, for sure. Yeah. Well, y'all, it's been real. It's been real. Thank y'all for tuning in to Under the Influence. Peace. Y'all gonna see me around, though. Okay. Yeah, it's more to come. She busted, she put out the